This is CHS TV News. Good morning, Cathedral. First, I want to say a thank you for the beautiful, inspirational reflections and prayers we've had all this week for Catholic Education Week. So thank you to the students, to Mrs. Centrito, for providing the readings for the week. And we've had a wonderful group of students all week with readers. So thank you very, very much. I also want to extend a big thank you to all who were involved with ensuring the success of the press conference yesterday in celebration of Cathedral's 100 years. To our students, to our students and staff for your warm and gracious welcome, and to all our guests, especially to the Student Council, Ed Lawler, Ryan Monty, Spiritual Rep for your participation, Mr. Paterakia, Mr. Trabuco, Mr. Cross, and the students, Mr. Allen, and all the teachers who brought your students down to the forum, our custodians, Mr. Jodeski and Mr. Prominski, to Mr. Dunphy, who's working a very positive way with social media, including Twitter. This thank you was sent to me from our guest. And I quote, most special thanks to the awesome staff and students who did everything imaginable to make us and our invited guests welcome. Parking arrangements, warm greetings, refreshments, lovely table setting, perfect setup for the conference, including effective technology for broadcasting and presenting, recording, the Gales chairs, the reunion logos, everywhere. It was fantastic. So thank you to all. And we also have a guest this morning, and we have our guest. Last night, got to come here. <laughs> Last night at the Yes You Can Awards, the Council for Exceptional Children awarded a big honor to Awali for his community involvement here at Cathedral. So congratulations. <laughs> congratulations to Awali. And I know Awali wants to also thank and acknowledge all the teachers who work with him the great support from our educational assistants in the resource department and everyone here at Cathedral. Right, Wally? Nope. <laughs> he thinks I said too much. But thank you very much, and congratulations to Wally. Now back to Ryan and Kyle. Thanks, miss. The, the Religious Studies Department is running a trivia contest each day this week in support of Catholic Education Week. Yesterday's trivia question was, in Matthew's Gospel, what does Jesus reveal to the people during his Sermon on the Mount? Uh, congratulations goes out to Sabrina Pereira, who correctly answered yesterday's trivia question with the Beatitudes. Sabrina, you can claim your prize immediately, immediately after today's announcements in Miss Centrito's room 302. Today's trivia question is, only one of Jesus' miracles is recorded in all four Gospels. Which miracle? If you think you know the answer to today's question, Simply uh, go to the answer box in the main office and submit it with your full name. The winning answer gets, uh, that gets pulled at random at the end of the day will get a sweet cur prize courtesy of the Religious Studies Department. The prize winner will be announced on Monday along with the correct answer. Good luck, Gales. The Cathedral School Letter Award is an honor award to students who have contributed to the academic, athletic, and co-curricular co life of Cathedral. If you think you deserve this prestigious honor, you must apply in guidance. The application form requires you to get verification for all your school involvement, and the deadline is today. See Ms. Brotherson or Mr. Nora for more information. Attention all diversity ambassadors. There will be an, an important school meeting after school today on, on Monday, May 14th in room 302, or 310. The agenda includes a sign-up sheet for responsibilities for the multicultural show. See you, at, see you in room 310 at 3 p.m. sharp. Thanks from Mrs. Werner, Ms. Craig, and Ms. Fitzpatrick. Also on Monday, there will be a Gale Guides meeting after school in room 333. Please see Ms. Daly if you cannot attend. Today, the CHS salon is open for business. Ladies, if you would like to get your hair or nails done for the weekend, stop by the CHS salon on your spare, period 1 or 5. Check out what the CHS salon has to offer in room 100. There will be an important swap meeting on Wednesday in room 340. All must attend. See you there for Ms. Popovic. Any student who is taking grade 12 University English next year, speak to your guidance counselor to see if e-learning is for you. If you're a good candidate, someone who is self-motivated and able to get assignments done independently, consider online grade 12 English. Online English will give you flexibility on your timetable. See your guidance counselor for more information. Many probably forgot to bring down the recycling yesterday because of the 100-year reunion press conference. So today during period one, teachers were asked to send down students to the loading dock with their classroom paper recycling bin. 
If your classroom containers need to be emptied, please empty them into the cafeteria recycling center. All Eco Team members are reminded to collect their recycling from their assigned rooms if they did not do, do so yesterday. Thank you. And with your sports, I'll pass it over to another special guest anchor, Mr. Daly. And yes, indeed, this is Mr. Daly with no makeup. This is me and my natural beauty. The, the girls' slow pitch team displayed a great deal of grit and determination as they fought back from an early 15-4 deficit to win by an impressive 34-17 score over the St. John de Burbuff. Um, <laughs> sorry. The girls batted through the, the line twice on the way to victory. Practice resumes on Monday from Coach Jordan and Coach Nordoff. The senior girls' soccer team lost a close game to ACMT yesterday by a final score of 1-0. Despite many opportunities to score in the first half, the ball just didn't seem to want to go into the back of the Jaguar net. The girls continued to press the other team right to the final whistle. Special mention to Michaela Kyrim and Elizabeth Bell, who both played strong games. Drew Lousy also played very well. A reminder to the girls to meet outside of the phys ed office today after school in their running gear. Period two teachers are asked to dismiss the girls rugby team at 10.30 today and all members are to be changed and ready in front of the chapel no later than 1045. Good luck in your quest to go undefeated in the regular season with your last game against SJB. Kickoff is at 12. Let's go, Gales. And that's it for sports. Back to you guys. Thanks, sir. Before we go, a happy birthday goes out to Megan Finley and William Swaffer from all your friends. You may have noticed that today is no makeup day. For more information on that, here is Miss McCabe. Okay, good morning everyone, and it wasn't a hard day for me because I don't wear makeup, uh, but I want to say to uh, everyone who participated, especially Mrs. Kovac, who really, she, she told me today that she was circling the block several times going, I don't know if I can go in, I don't know if I can go in, but she did it. And the thing is, and what we want to leave you with is Really, you are all beautiful. If you choose to wear makeup, that's fine. This isn't an anti-makeup day. This is just a day to say and just remind you that who you are and what you stand for and your own natural beauty is fantastic. And we want to say we love you just the way you are. I stare at my reflection in the mirror Why am I doing this to myself? Losing my mind on a tiny error. I nearly left the real me on the shelf. No, 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 no. Don't lose me all. And the is to do to fit the mold, yeah. The more I try, the less is working, yeah. Cause everything inside me screams, no, 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 yeah. Don't you are. Life, it'll never be perfect, but it'll be worth it in the end. The ups and the downs is what builds us and makes us exactly who we are. It's like a push up, you go down and then up. And that's exactly what makes us so strong and so tough. Don't lose you all. 
It's okay not to be okay. Sometimes it's hard.